Hello everyone, how are you all? I Milan Singh welcome you again on this session where we are going to today talk about the contribution of Chhattisgarh state in Indian freedom movement. See, we here at Purvanchal IAS are providing you full CGPSC course along with Chhattisgarh special. All you need to do is just go to Google Play Store and download the app Purvanchal IAS and according to your need you can choose the courses. If not CGPSC, you might be preparing for UPSC, UPPSC, MPPSC, all sorts of courses are available here in English as well as Hindi medium. So you can definitely take a look. We have several other courses also and you can choose from them as per your requirement. Now see, when I talk about Indian freedom struggle, all of us know that to get independence, we have had a long history of freedom struggle. And from 1885, it was the establishment of Indian National Congress. I hope you are aware of that. That is a part of Indian history. As far as Chhattisgarh is concerned, Chhattisgarh at that time was a part of Central Province. So here in 1889, a Congress session was held at Bombay, which was headed by William Wedderburn. And here almost 214 representatives of Central Province and Birar attended the session. From Chhattisgarh also, these few important personalities attended the session such as CM Thakkar, Pandit Ramdayal Tiwari, Pandit Madhav Rao Sapre, Baman Rao Lakhe, etc. Please remember who participated with session because this is asked in the questions also. Then after that in 1891, a congress session was held at Nagpur where government policies were criticized. See, I think you are aware that Britishers made a lot of changes in different, different areas like land, education, famine, etc. One such was the land thing, which actually brought a lot of unrest for the reason that they increased a lot of tax in the land and it became like a burden for farmers and all. So these kind of policies were here at this session criticized and it was also attended by these same people. That is CM Dhakkar, Pandit Madhav Rao Sapre, Pandit Ram Dayal Tiwari, Baman Rao Lakhe. Now during this time, 1891, the chief commissioner of central province visited the area of Bilaspur, Chhattisgarh and here he met almost 20,000 farmers and Malguzar and they told him about their problems such as the rate of land revenue and they also talked that they should be pro provided loan facility with low rate of interest so that they can reduce their burdens overall. Now in 18 94 Chhattisgarh was under the grip of famine and here at that time one of the chief commissioner Woodward visited and he saw the condition because Chhattisgarh from past three years was under the grip of this famine and the condition was very very worse. So here Woodward did some meeting and all he took some steps in order to make sure that Chhattisgarh is in a better position after this famine. Now there is a thing about establishment of social and cultural organizations. So see dear aspirants, during the 19th century we have seen the advent of lots of social and cultural organizations such as Brahmo Samaj, Arya Samaj and they did a lot to bring the changes in the society like uh, abolition of Sati and etc. thing took place here, widow remarriage and all of that and its effect was also felt in Chhattisgarh. And after this, many of the things were established in Chhattisgarh in 19th century such as a Buddhi Prakash Sabha, Reading Club, Bengal, Nagpur Railway Institute. These were established at Bilaspur district. Then we have Library and Scientific Association, Malini Reading Club, People Teacher Association, Kavi Samaj Rajim, Chhattisgarh Bal Samaj in Raipur region. So all of these are basically uh, established for the social and cultural perspective and also to raise the sense of nationality among the citizens. Now this one is very very important. Please be careful when I am telling you about this. I am talking about Chhattisgarh Mitra from which a lot of times question is being asked but then you will say what is this Chhattisgarh Mitra? Chhattisgarh Mitra is actually the first monthly newspaper of Chhattisgarh. The first newspaper that was published in Chhattisgarh is this Chhattisgarh Mitra and it was published by Madhav Rao Sapre with the assistance of Ram Rao Chincholkar. Please remember these names. One more important thing which becomes important from current affairs perspective this time is the place of publication. The place of publication is Pendra Road. Why am I saying is it is important because earlier Pendra Road was into Bilaspur district. But then now in 2019 a new district in Chhattisgarh has been created by cutting this Bilaspur district and this new district is Gorilla Pendra Marwahi. And now this Pendra Road falls under Gorilla Pendra Marwahi. So you have to remember 
that the place of publication of Chhattisgarh Mitra, that is Pendra Road, which earlier was Bilaspur, is now under Gorilla Pendra Marwahi. Now, in 1905, I think you're aware, on 16th October 1905, Lord Curzon announced the partition of Bengal and it created a huge, huge unrest in India. During this time, Congress session was held at Banaras, which was headed by Gopal Krishna Gokhale. From Chhattisgarh, we had participants who attended this session, such as Vaman Rao Lakhe, Madhav Rao Sapre, Pandit Ravi Shankar Shukla, Pandit Ram Gopal Tiwari, Badri Prasad, Gajadar Sao. And the partition of Bengal was opposed all over India, along with Chhattisgarh, of course. Chhattisgarh, many assemblies were organized and speeches were delivered in order to make people aware of this partition of Bengal and to go against this. Several petitions were also hired. In assembly organized in Raipur, Bilaspur, Durg, lot of people gathered. And in Bilaspur district, under the leadership of Tara Chand, a protest was done against this partition of Bengal. Now, at the same time in 1905, the first provincial political convention was held in Nagpur. This is the first provincial political convention of central provinces that took place in Nagpur. And the activities of Congress actually had direct impact of Chhattisgarh through this particular convention because we have seen that the participants from Chhattisgarh, the persons from Chhattisgarh has been continuously attending the Congress sessions and they were impacted a lot, affected a lot by the activities of Congress and this is something that brought effect in Chhattisgarh as well. So, first provincial council was held in 1905 in Nagpur. Let us start again. Okay, so now let us see what really happened in 1906. See, after the partition of Bengal in India, we were running Swadeshi movement. And this particular session of Congress was held at Kolkata, which was headed by Dada Bhai Naroji, where the Swadeshi movement uh, proposal was passed and Swaraj was made the goal of Congress. From Chhattisgarh, Madhav Rao Sapre, Vaman Rao Lakhe and Pandit Ravi Shankar Shukla attended the session. In 1906, Samitra Mandal was established by Pandit Sundarlal Sharma in order to bring the sense of nationalism among the people of Chhattisgarh. One important thing happened here that it was the time, 1906 was the time when Congress was established in Chhattisgarh. See, in 1885, the Congress was established in Indian level. But in Chhattisgarh state level, the Congress got established in 1906 at a place called Raipur, which is now the capital of Chhattisgarh. It was established by CM Thakkar and... Membership was taken by Pandit Sundarlal Sharma. So, you have to remember when was Congress established, at which place, by whom and who took the membership. Now, see here, second provincial political convention also was held in 1906 at Jabalpur. We have seen in 1905, first provincial convention took place at Nagpur and then on 1906, it took place at Jabalpur where Dada Saheb Khaparde was a person whose Swadeshi movement related proposal was passed. So, in 1906, Indian level Congress at Kolkata, this particular proposal was passed. Then, in the provincial political convention also, a proposal related to Swadeshi movement was passed. Now comes the important 1907 and I am sure that in 1907 you know in India Surat split took place. I mean the Congress session was held at Surat and there was a split in the ideologies and it uh, the Congress divided into two groups extremists and moderates because there were differences in the ideology and the way to proceed for the freedom movement. See here it was held at Su Surat and uh, uh, president was Ras Bihari Ghosh. From Chhattisgarh, Pandit Sundarlal Sharma, Narayan Rao Mighale and Shivram Munje attended the session and Congress here split into two groups, moderates and extremists. Once this Congress session was held, in 1907, the same year, third provincial political convention took place. Second we have seen which took place in 1906. In 1907, third pol uh, provincial political convention took place which was headed by Hari Singh Gaur. And Chhattisgarh now got divided into two. I mean, Chhattisgarh Congress here got divided into two groups like it happened in this case. Moderates and extremists. So, now you need to remember who were the moderates leaders of Chhattisgarh and who were the extremist leaders. So, please see here. Pandit Sundarlal Sharma, Dr. Shivram Munje and Dr. Kelkar. All of these were the moderates from Chhattisgarh. And as far as the extremists are concerned, Madhavrao Sapre, 
पंडित रविशंकर शुक्ला एंड दिस दादा साहेब खापर दे वर द एक्सट्रीमिस्ट ऑफ छत्तीसगढ़ लॉर्ड ऑफ टाइम्स क्वेश्चन हैज बीन आज अबाउट हु आर द मॉडरेट एंड हु आर द एक्सट्रीमिस्ट सो प्लीज रिमेम्बर इन इंडिया ऑल्सो एंड इन छत्तीसगढ़ ऑल्सो एंड हियर इट वॉज द टाइम इन नाइनटीन वेन फर्स्ट स्टूडेंट स्ट्राइक टूक प्लेस ऑफ द कंट्री दिस वॉज द फर्स्ट स्टूडेंट स्ट्राइक ऑफ कंट्री एट अ प्लेस नांदगांव स्टेट विच इज बेसिकली राइट नाउ राजनांदगांव एंड दिस वॉज अ हाई स्कूल एंड दिस वॉज लेड बाय ठाकुर प्यारे लाल सिंह सो फर्स्ट स्टूडेंट स्ट्राइक टूक प्लेस एट राजनांदगांव दैट टाइम इट वॉज अ नांदगांव स्टेट एंड इट वॉज द हाई स्कूल स्टूडेंट हु प्रोटेस्टेड अंडर द लीडरशिप ऑफ ठाकुर प्यारे लाल सिंह so this all things happened in 1907 now see after that what happened there was a uh, bal gangadhar tilak i am sure you people are aware and he used to publish some of the things like kesri he was publishing kesri in marathi and the hindi version of this was published by pandit madhavrao sapre under the guidance of tilak so please remember who published the hindi version of kesri of tilak it was published by pandit madhavrao sapre then in 1909 thakur pyare lal singh established saraswati library in rajnandgaon you already know that thakur pyare lal singh headed the first student strike from rajnandgaon and then in 1909 he established this saraswati library in the same place and he was assisted by pandit raju lal sharma and chhabi lal chobe in this the establishment of saraswati library and then in 1912 ravi shankar shukla established kanyakunj sabha so these all things took place after 1907 some at 1909 and then 1900 12 in 1913 barrister chedilal who belonged to bilaspur he uh, returned from england and then he publicized nationality through cultural means and he used to held notanki in order to publicize the thing and then in 1914 barrister e raghavendra rao came back to bilaspur from england so these are the two people who went to england from chatisgarh and they returned back this year Now in 1915 fourth provincial political congress took place this was again held at nagpur and it was attended by the leaders of both moderates and extremist ideology i told you in 1907 there was a split that took place and then after this in 1915 they both sat together and discussed now here e raghavendra rao the barrister e raghavendra rao he became a mediator between moderate and extremist and he brought them together for this particular session and e raghavendra rao was popularly known as rao sahib he became the president of bilaspur municipal council and he was also elected as secretary of bilaspur district council and he made khadi to be compulsory for a wearing purpose and he hosted flag and vande matram song during the prayer at the same time in 1915 summit of traders took place at town hall of raipur the date was 20th june 1915 then in 1916 we all of know that there was all india home rule which was started by tilak and was which started by any besant also but actually the impact of this tilak home rule was felt in chatisgarh region so there were certain leaders who actually uh, became a part of this indian home rule and they publicized the nationality thing or the feeling of nationalism like from raipur we had leaders like pandit ravi shankar shukla lakshman rao mulchand bagadi madhav rao sapre then from bilaspur we have raghavendra rao gajadhar sao munni lal swami govind prasad tiwari ambika prasad from durg we have ghanshyam das gupta Rajnand Gaon we have Thakur Pyare Lal please remember that which of the person belong to which place because this has been asked a lot of times at during durg who belong from during uh, durg who belong from Rajnand Gaon and so on in may 1918 gopal krishna gokhale visited raipur i think you know that gopal krishna gokhale was the political guru of gandhi ji he visited raipur In 1918 only there was a genuine sacred thread program was held which was held by Pandit Sundarlal Sharma I think you know the genuine the brahmin wears the genuine which is a th- uh, sacred thread for them so this program was held by Pandit Sundarlal Sharma for the upliftment of the lower caste people and in 1918 only there was a provincial summit of home rule Lo- league which took place it i told you that this 1916 home rule league was established and its tremors were felt till the later age also so in 1918 
provincial summit on this particular thing took place at Raipur and the president was Ravi Shankar Shukla. So you have to note here that Bal Gangadhar Tilak at this time visited Raipur in order to campaign for the Home Rule League. So who visited? Firstly, Kupal Krishna Gokhale visited Raipur and then 1918 Bal Gangadhar Tilak also visited Raipur. So that was all about the freedom movement. Rest from Rollet Act to non-cooperation and later on stage I will cover in the second topic. So this was the freedom struggle part one. Rest will be covered in the non-cooperation and then they will we'll start from Simon to the Quit India movement all. But till then you people take care and definitely make sure to watch Purvanchal IES and access the courses that you feel like. Thank you so much.